What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And it is... No! That crow ate my plant! Little bastard. Oh, man. I need a scarecrow or something. So in today's episode, I'm figuring unless there's any other pressing business, I'm probably just going to chop down more trees and make more chests. Stardew Valley, having fun with it so far. It's a little bit of a low-key game, but that's all right. I don't understand why games always have to be like, go, 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 high-key. I don't think they do. I think there's definitely room for just, like, chilling in video games. And you know what? I will chill like the most evil of villains. The most evil of villains. I'm going to put those in there because we're a little bit full up right now. Next thing we need to do is I'm going to craft yet another chest. And so we'll put that right there. And I'll probably put this inside the house just in case. It looks like we do have pressing business. And it might not be super pressing. It might just be something that needs to get done. I'm going to put you... Right there. That's a good spot for you. And this would be the spot where I'd put stuff like the broken glasses and the bamboo pole when I'm not using them. This is going to be like all the kind of oddities and random things that I find around. And this one's going to be work tools and stuff like that. I don't know if I have to water on a rainy day. Or if it's possible to like swamp your plants or something. What is this guy? I'm assuming the game's going to ease us in nice and easy. So I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by the general store today. And check out our affordable size 24 backpack. I will see you soon. Okay. Get a size 24 backpack to match up with my manly sized 8 shoes. I, I think it's a respectable 8. Maybe a 7.5. I'm just joking. I think I, I don't even know what size I wear. It kind of depends on shoe brand. I do have a shoe problem. I stay away from shoe stores. I buy way too many shoes. Looking for a herring, Willie. 90G on delivery and will make Willie happy. Do I have a herring? I have a sunfish. What is this? High quality seeds. Only at P. Airs. Closed on Wednesdays. That's such a random time for a general store to be closed. Maybe we should fish today then. Like if we could try to fulfill that quest for Willie, it might work out pretty good for us. I mean, it doesn't sound like the ultimate thrilling way to play my way through the game. But I think it would work. I mean, it's a thing to work on, and it raises our... It looks like we've got to have some kind of relationship with the people around us, so... I'm assuming this is the season up here, and this is the weather. Wednesday the 3rd. I do, however, sort of wish... Oh, there's some seeds over here, too. Hmm. we got to deliver it by 5. I wonder if we can get something at the bait shop, too, to, like, make our, make our hook a little bit better. Make it a tad more enticing. Yeah, grab that, and then I'm just going to throw those in there for right now. I realize that's outside my sorting criteria. I know. It's okay. I'll fix it in a little while. Fix it off camera. It's not a big deal. He ate one of our plants. A straight dick mode. How dare you? Ate one of our plants. He ate an entire plant. That crow went in. He's like, you know what time it is? And when I checked my watch, he was like, no, 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 no. It's lunchtime, bitch. And I'm like, oh, come on, man. We got to eat my plants like that. All I'm trying to do, where do you catch herrings at? In the ocean? Or herring's freshwater. I'm not a fisherman. I know what a sunfish is. We can catch those where I live. Where I live, freshwater, we've got German brown, we've got trout, we've got sunfish, and then we've got a couple other things. And then in the ocean, we've got like all kinds of random stuff that I don't even know the names of because I'm not really a fisherman. I don't fish very much. I wonder if it changes based on where you cast out. I guess we'll try to find out. Hmm. It's more of a fishing line instead of a fishing hole. Oh, I gotcha. I got that ass now, fish. I got that ass. Oh, man. He's a tough one. He might be outside my capabilities. Oh, you can overcast too? Okay. Let's try this one more time, but that fish was kind of hardcore. He was like, you hooking me? Ah! I've been going to the gym, son, doing those curls. He's been, ever since the fish started CrossFit, he's been going pretty hard. He, he can be a tough one to hold on to. We got another hit right there. No, no, no. Shit, that's harder than it looks. We just got skilled on by like a fish. Like he went in on us. He's like, I've been lifting, dude. You don't want to come after me. You better get them skinny fish. How did I... So where's this guy? Oh, he was out on the dock. 
That last fish wasn't nearly that difficult to catch, so I'm thinking maybe I'm fishing in an area that I'm not leveled for or something. Let's throw out right here. I'm not going to take the quest because I don't know if... I'm going to wait till I get a herring, and then I will take the quest. There we go, fishy. There we go, fishy. Stay with me, fishy. Stay with me. Yeah, that one's way... I think the other fish was outside of our capabilities. Wow, that fish is, like, talented at shaking me. Ah. Uh. No. No. Fishy! No. Oh, no. No. Fishy. Why are you... No, why are you doing this to me? I thought we were friends, Fishy. I wanted you to come over for dinner. That's all that I wanted. Maybe just to sell your body to somebody for money. That's all... No, we were so close. Oh, my God. I am really upset with myself right now. I don't even know what to say about this. Like, I'm, like, sweating profusely, like, on my brow. <sighs> There's like, I don't know what's going on with this fishing rod. We gotta figure, maybe it's just, maybe I just need to acquire the skills. Good lord, these fish are running around me like I'm, I'm getting juked. I'm getting juked in her castle. I'm looking foolish on video right now. This is deeply upsetting. I got issues. Gotcha. Okay, we got this one. Take it easy. Little clickies. Little clickies. Not the big clicky. Little clickies. Fishy. Little clickies. There we go. I got that one. I got you, fish. Oh, we got a herring. Okay, so let's go take the quest real fast. That was all that we needed. We just need to catch a herring right now, so we got this. We got this. Let's go up to the north. Let us go fishy, fishy. Yeah, man. That's a tough mini game right there. That's, like, frustrating when you can't get it centered. You get so angry at yourself. You get so angry. Like, I'm not mad at the game. I'm mad at my finger for not being able to do things properly. I used to get that way when I was a kid, too. All right, so we'll take the quest now that we got the herring that he wanted. That also means... No, don't cast off into... What are you doing right now, man? I will accept this quest, and we got to find Willy. I don't know where Willy's hiding at, so he could be just about anywhere. Hopefully, he's in his house. That would be the one that I really hope on, but if we can get paid $100 to catch a fish, that sounds like a pretty sweet deal for us. Oh, we found a daffodil. Okay. Which is completely different than a Defoe, but a Defoe dill, which is a dill owned by Willem Defoe, obviously. Is this Willy? Which one's Willy? Yeah. Oh, hi there. It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. So how do I give you this right here? There we go. Oh, you brought me the item I asked for. I really appreciate it. Yar. Here's a little something for your trouble. So he gave me 90 bucks. Hey, he didn't give me 90 bucks. You cheap bastard. I fished that fish out. Oh, I got to go through here. All right. Cool. I'm just trying to keep Willie honest. I'm just trying to keep him honest. So he made trout soup. Oh, it gives you better fishing chances, too. That's pretty cool. All right, then. There's no other fishing rod that we can buy, so maybe it's just my skills that are lackluster. Maybe I just need to raise myself up to a whole new level and just rock out super hard. I guess we'll find out. There's no way to really tell. I could totally tell. I'm going to stream this tonight. I am totally going to stream this game tonight. It's going to be rad. It will not be bad. It'll make me happy. That's the opposite of sad, I think. Just in case you hadn't caught the, the difference between good and bad yet at this point in your life. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's closed on Wednesdays. I already tried that shit. All right, so let's go back and let's use the remainder of our energy to, I guess, clear our fields a little bit more. I'll probably use some of the wood that I've got, too, once we harvest some more wood, because I have no wood right now. That's not a problem you want to have. Unfortunately, we need to see a doctor about it. But time being what it is, like, who has time to go to a pesky doctor? I think that would be one of those times where I would find the time if my wiener wasn't working. Yeah, I don't think we need to water on days where it's raining. It would seem as though... That would be, like, one conclusion would follow another. How long does it take us to level? Or do we buy those upgrades? Man, there is a lot of stuff to be destroyed here. We have, like, things to do right now. And I don't know, like, what I should focus on. Like, what's the best choice? It, look like, it looks like the pickaxe gets rid of this. Well, maybe not. Alright. Alright. Knock that rock out right there. It's a slow progress. 
But we are making some kind of progress. I think it'll work out for us as long as we can stay on it. A couple more fibers in here. And like, can I... Yeah, I was gonna say, it looked like I could do some kind of like foraging or something in the trees. And so I don't know... I don't know, sometimes you gotta shake the tree to see what falls out. If L.A. Noir taught me anything. Sometimes you just gotta shout at some people until you get what you want. I don't know. <laughs> That's a horrible way to live your life. Don't do that. That's what a shitty person does. Alright, so daffodils. That's a foraging item. A traditional spring flower that makes a nice gift. Okay, we got some forage sap, some resources in there. What can I make? I can make a wood path and I can make some fences. Well, seeing as we don't really have, I don't know, it's not really like a whole lot of stuff that we can craft here. I guess I'll make some wood fencing and we'll maybe try to go like this, make like our first little field here. Nice. It definitely looks a little bit more suitable. I'll probably make it... You can probably enter it from the top since I put the chest right there. I may have made an organizational mistake with my chest, but it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Chop a few more logs, get a little bit more wood, clear out this because I think this is going to be a pasture at some point. It seems like that's what it's going to be. And it looks like there's a busted-ass gazebo type thing over here. What is this? Was this a greenhouse before, maybe? I would actually love to get myself some more of those random assorted seeds and just like see what pops out. They don't seem to drop quite as quickly as they did in Terraria. The hell was that? Who's out here making ghost noises? You better stop. I'm messing around with ghostesses. We've talked about this before with the channel. Mm mm. Not me. Although I don't believe in ghosts, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna tempt fate. Be walking into scary ass asylums and shit in the middle of the night. Nah. There might not be ghosts in there, but it seems like the kind of place that a psycho would live. Just like hanging out in the basement, doing psycho shit. Whatever this once was is now in ruins. It looks like it's just a frame. Like, I don't know. What do you get from shaking trees? It'd be like fruits or something? How much do you have to shake them? Shake it, baby, shake it. Shake it, baby. That's my favorite part of that little part of the song. Shake it, baby. Like, that's it. Like, that's... I wait for that part of the song. I'm just like, oh, there was the part. There was the part. They did the thing. They did the thing. It's kind of late right now, but, like, we're getting stuff done, and I feel like we're making really solid progress on making, like, this side pasture look a little bit nicer. It's supplying us with an opportunity to get some wood, too. It looks like there's a little path right there. Maybe I'll check that out tomorrow once we handle all the tasks that need to be handled. Come on. I like how he does like a little hop where his legs bend in the wrong direction every time he chops. It's pretty sweet. He's like, Aah! I destroy you with the force of my cracking knees. You have no idea how dedicated I am to chopping you down, tree. I will snap my legs off backwards if it means that I defeat you. This looks like a spooky forest or something. What's inside the spooky forest? Nothing in the tree. Can't really see though. Hmm. Spooky Forest, what you got going? Oh, leaf blower guys here. Yep, I'm recording on a Wednesday, and I knew this guy would show up at some point. It's a running, it's a running gag on my channel that on Wednesdays the leaf blower guy comes in and destroys my recording by being super loud in the background every single time. That's it wouldn't be as irritating except that he doesn't even leaf blow. Like he just like sits there. What does this do? Oh, I can put it. Okay. A stranger. Hello. What are you doing, man? You live out here in a tent? Are you banished? Did you not worship the right god? Is that why they sent you out here? That guy's prospecting over there. At some point, I'll have to go back and ask him what the prospects of prosperity are from that particular activity. It looks like there's... What is this right here? Can I light that? It looks like an Ewok shrine. 
Nap, nap. Yep, nap. I like the Ewoks. I think the Ewoks catch a lot of unnatural hate. I don't know. I feel like you can interject and, like, put Jim Henson in anything. It's locked. Open 9 a.m. This looks like a carpentry shop, maybe. So, possibly I might be able to upgrade my stuff. Where does this lead? Probably northwards out of town would be my guess. Walking in the rain at night with some shades because I am the man. Can I take this shovel right here? Is it mine? Is this Pelican Town Hall? What is this? It's locked. Where have you taken me? Okay, so I went around that way. It looks like it's just like a back loop. There's also locations we haven't been to yet. I like the exploratory aspect where you're like learning how the world works and where things are at. That's always been a big deal to me in video games. I like it when video games give you an incentive to like look around and memorize maps and sort of just like find where all the little resources are hidden so that you can advance your agenda. I, I think we're going to enjoy this playthrough. I really sincerely do. It seems like the kind of game that plays sort of slow, but I think at some point it's definitely going to pick up. And at that point, we're going to stab some fools with a... What was that? Does the bus just sit there like all day every day? Bus driver must not have a very busy schedule. Bummer for him. Pretty sweet for staying on track though if you're like trying to do like random tasks and stuff so. I am going to plant this seed over here in the soil. And hopefully it decides to grow. It's nighttime, which means it's time for us to go to bed. Let's go to bed and rest our weary head. So we got plus one axe proficiency. Trees will now sometimes drop their seeds. New crafting recipe, wild seeds. New crafting recipe, a field snack. Okay. Nice. So what does the field snack do for me? Let's take a look here. And also, where do I craft that from? We got axing skill. So I guess you get better at axing things as you practice axing. I like that as a feature too. That's pretty fun. Oh, these plants are coming in right now. These plants are going up. On a Tuesday, your girl in the farm and she chews a plant's going up. It's technically Wednesday right now, but you get my point. Shouldn't these be grown already? Like they said, four days for parsnips. Maybe it's on day five. Maybe it didn't count day one. Keep everything all nice and watered in here, which apparently watering things is an exhausting task. That's what I just learned because we lost some stamina. Stamina, na, stamina, na, na, na. Oh, that's a song right there. I gotta note that one down for later usage in my head noodle. Got this covered. Dude, our character is such a baller. He rolled in here like city folk style. It's like, ugh, farm with my Ray Bans. Next thing you know, be throwing on the gold fossil watch. It's like, ugh, got this shit. Looking good. I rock this watch while I farm because I'm rich and I don't care. <laughs> Nothing is posted today. Open 9 a.m. Oh, man, it's only 7 a.m.? All right, well, what else can I do at this time of day? Maybe we'll walk to the carpenter shop and see what goes on over there. Can I forage these bushes right here? Like, are these choppable? Yeah, I don't know if I can actually interact with things from this side. They've also got, like, another little fishing pond over here. So I suppose we could try to fish for a bit while we wait for all the shops to open. I can't guarantee it's going to work very well, but... Joe Jacola, fuel your life. My guess is that we can restore our energy by drinking like colas and all kinds of other stuff. All right, we got this. Fishy, fishy. Oh, no, I overshot him, I overshot him. Come on, fishy. Yeah, get out of that water. Get out of that water, sunfish. We'll give it one more because we got time to kill right now. Time to kill and rhymes to Bill. You ever imagine how easy life would be if we just, like, didn't have money? Like, you could just, like, fulfill, like, your needs, like, as necessary. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, a hippie right now. I'm just saying. Like, I think a lack of work would free people up to, like, be them their best selves. Because most people don't do a job they want to do, right? Like, most people have a job that they hate. I know I hated my job. We actually still have more than enough time left. Let's catch some more sunfish. I wonder if these are valuable. Like, if I can cash these in for a little bit of cheddar. Like, we need, we need money, like, badly right now so that we can buy better crops and... It says when we chop trees now, we might get tree seeds, so I think I'll open up an orchard over by the pond, maybe? Put in a couple rows of, like, orchard trees and see if that works out. Uh, I don't know what the game's entailing right now. I'm playing this completely and totally blind, so the metagame is not something that I'm even remotely aware of. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, fish. What is that right there? A smallmouth bass? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. 
That's a, that's a mighty fine fish right there. That's a fish that's fit for eating. Sunfish, on the other hand, I don't know if these are the same sunfish. They might be called different things in different places. But we usually just threw back sunfish where I lived, unless there was like a fishing competition day. Like there was like an accepted, if your dad was teaching you how to fish, or your mom or whoever, that was part of learning to fish, is that you learned to... That's what you got going on with that backpack upgrade, dude. So we got wallpaper, flooring, rice, wheat flour. Got tulip bulbs over here, six days to produce a colorful flower. Got kale seeds. We've got potato seeds, cauliflower, parsnip. So it looks like I can't sell any of my stuff to him. Didn't you just say you had backpack upgrades? Why are you messing with me like this? Why are you making my life so difficult, dude? Why has it got to be like that? I definitely think we should go in on some more parsnip seeds. So I'll take those. And hopefully when we harvest the parsnips, we get more seeds too. Is there anybody else selling stuff here? Doesn't look like it. Who builds a giant altar shrine in the back of their house? I bet he's... Oh, the backpack's right there. You gotta click it on the counter. Oh. 2,000 gold for the backpack upgrade. Alright, we might not be... We might not be on the clock for that one. Maybe some potato seeds just to like fiddle with stuff. I don't know. I'll keep them segmented out a little bit so that we can figure out where everything goes. I uh, My guess is that he probably buys farming supplies. Let's go up to the top and we'll go ahead and take a look at the carpentry place and see what they've got. I realize we're kind of midday right now and I can already tell this is one of those games that like it's not going to fit inside my prescribed episode titles. Dude, you got a lot of ivy on your house. You might want to handle that. Hmm. Maybe we pay to have that. This is an apple blossom tree maybe. Let's take a look at it. Can I shake it? No, I can't shake it, baby. Shake it. Well, never mind then. I don't want to shake it with you anyways, tree with pink blossoms. Can I chop this field right here? Yeah. I wonder if other farms are going to move in and they're going to be all competitive with us. And then we got to like, shkik shkirk, buy them and just like, buck some rounds at them to let them know that, hey, ain't nobody grow potatoes in this neighborhood but me. You got to put people on notice. What if they mess with your business? You gotta earn. You gotta. I bet the fishing guy buys the fish. It's early enough in the day to where we can still swing over there. I think sell them. Hopefully, we'll make a little bit of cash from that. Like, if we can make a hundred bucks, I'd be pretty happy selling fish. I don't think fishing is really that much of a a high market industry. But what are you gonna do? What can I do for you? We can upgrade our house. We can construct farm buildings. This will increase the size of your house and add a kitchen. It costs a thousand gold, and you will need to provide me with four hundred fifty pieces of wood. No, that's fine. Let's shop. Got a basic window over here. We got house plants. We got a budget TV. It looks like we buy our recipes, so I'll keep that in mind. They're pretty expensive, though, from what I can tell. We can sell fibers. It looks like they're only worth one gold, though, so unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be that useful. Still, if we can sell her wood or whatever, maybe that'll work. Demetrius. Hey, greetings. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Where's your kid at? You say you're a father, but I don't see no kids around. Mm, he's got one of them ghost kids. He's got one of them Sixth Sense kids. So Sebastian is in here, and it looks like he's coding or playing video games or something. I like coding. I need to get back into it. I really... YouTube is sort of... YouTube is a really, really busy job for me. I'm always working on random... Does that bird have a hat? I think that bird had a slouchy beanie cap. What? Can I murder that squirrel? Where'd it go? Sometimes you gotta get meat. Something fell out. You see that little brown thing right there? What is that brown thing? It's a tree poo. A lot of people don't know that, but trees poop out of the tops of themselves. I I've had people ask the question before. They're like, Splattercat, you're a scientist. You took science classes. Pray tell, forsooth, where does the tree poop from? And I'd be like, well, noble viewer, the tree poops out of the top part of the tree. The alta tree, if you will. Ask a, ask a botanist. They'll tell you. It's exactly how it works. They will corroborate my findings. I spent a long time of my life studying tree poo and how trees defecate and the fecal matter of trees. Arbora fecale? I don't even know what you would call it. Hmm. We'd have to come up with a new word for it. I guess if it's like plant matter, cecotropes maybe? Cecotrology? Huh. I don't know. Cecotropes are those things like rabbits eat their own dookie. 
You know, like when you see a rabbit and it's just like munching on its own dookie and it looks super happy. Like, hey, I just shit this out. Now I'm eating it. I'm like an easy bake oven that bounces around the forest. Anyways, they're called cecotropes, those little things that rabbits poop out and then they eat them again. Some animals do that. I guess it happens when their gut can't process whatever the material is that they're eating. And so they've evolved to just like eat the same material over and over and over. It's gnarly. It's gross. Then again, dogs do it too. I don't know. I stop the dog though. If I see the dog go, I'm like, hey, dog, stop doing that. <laughs> I know you thought there was going to be like a more impressive story right there, but no, it was just me being like, no, dog, don't eat your dookie like that. My dogs like to fish for truffles inside the litter box. It is disgusting as hell. Oh, he'll take our. Oh, really? They're worth 30 a pop? Okay. Cool. Making that money. Making that money. And we got a little bit of time left for today. So I'm going to go back to my house. And we'll continue clearing out the field. We got things to plant, too. So I think we'll probably get another harvesting cycle going. I think that we're supposed to plant these in spring. So that sounds fine. Plant these in spring. It looks like spring is going to be our principal harvesting time. So we may want to spend... I don't know how much money we're going to need or if anything interesting is going to happen with our cash. But we probably want to get a big farm going. Let's spend a bit more money. I think I'm going to be a little bit more forthcoming with the cash. I don't remember who I've talked to and who I haven't. So when I see people, I know I've talked to Caroline. There's a little kid over here. Let's go talk to... I think we talked to him too. I think this is the kid that needed the hairbrush. Yeah, I'm hungry. Where's my mom? I hated that when you were like, my mom used to leave us in the bathtub all the time. Like, we'd be up in the bathtub, and my mom would get on the phone with, like, one of her friends. And then she'd just, like, leave us in the bathroom. Like, leave us in the bathtub for hella days. And we were, like, little. And we didn't know if we were allowed to get out or not. Because that was still the point where we were, like, four or five years old. Where, like, our mom still, like, did the bathing thing. Like, three or four. I don't even know. I've lost track of time as I've gotten older. Oh, really? So, beans grow on a trellis. I don't think I have a trellis. Can I buy a trellis from you? Ooh, those tree seeds are hella expensive. Okay, that's cool. Maybe we'll go into potato farming for a little bit. I don't know if I'm overspending or over... I don't know if I'm overspending, underspending, or what. I think eight potato seeds seems good enough to me. I think this is the guy with the righteous-ass hair who looks like he would be a fencer in some, like, Japanese anime. Like, he would be that guy that does that thing where he's like... He attacks, like, eight times at once, and then the other person, like, falls into pieces and blood's like... At the top like a fountain. I don't know. We're out of time for the day. This is Stardew Valley. I'll see y'all later, Nerdcastle. I do.